Hi everyone and welcome back. In this episode, let's look at adding filters to a terrain to begin shaping it for a design. Filters are generated effects that transform the terrain into a new type of landscape. For instance, making the terrain balloon outward, adding some sharp cliffs, letting some natural erosion flow down our slopes, or even smooth out the low areas with some sedimentation. All these filters are created to help you design your terrain for the ecosystem or biome you are after. Let's go ahead and add some of our own. To begin, let's go to the filter section here by clicking the effects icon, then simply click the add filter button. From here, you will see a list of filter categories with the current filter options displayed within each category. If you hover over a filter, you will see your terrain reshape itself to that filter, giving you a preview of what it'll look like once you click it. This rollover instant preview can be turned off in the settings menu if you so choose, or by simply clicking the live preview icon here in the bottom right panel. Once you've selected a filter, you'll see that it appears here as our first filter in the layer stack. Filters are organized in a layer based system, so let's go ahead and add a few more filters to see that effect. From here, we now have three filters in our filter stack, or in this case, different layers. The filter at the top of the stack is the filter that quite literally is applied on top of these other two filters. We can look at this chronologically with the bottom filter being applied first and the top filter being applied last. We can hide or unhide any of these filters as well as being able to drag any filter to be repositioned in any order we want in the filter stack. In most cases, the order at which these appear do in fact make a difference, so be mindful of this. Once you have selected a filter, which will be highlighted, you will see its respective settings and controls below. Each filter will have its own unique set of adjustments you can make, and it takes some trial and error to really become familiar with them. So don't worry, we will go over a few throughout this video series and others to come. However, one thing to note is that each filter does give you not only the ability to control its general strength, which we've learned is the primary strength setting, but the ability to control each individual level strength setting. Again, these represent the fractal noise properties at the different levels of resolution on the terrain. As so, we are given the ability to fine tune each individual filter's influence on those details at various levels. For example, Perhaps we want this filter to affect just the finer grain details, so we can readjust the graph to prioritize the higher levels of detail. Or perhaps this filter we want to affect the larger, more broad details, so we can readjust the graph to prioritize the lower levels of detail. Filters are the powerhouse to world creators' realistic terrains and generative process. They are the key elements to bringing life to the geometry of your landscape designs with near endless possibilities. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you soon.